Good evening, Faithful. It's Mock Draft, Episode 7. Um, So, you know, Terror Dome, just a little bit of context of what I just said before we went live. Like, we were making jokes, you know, off video. You no know, Ones that aren't exactly appropriate for YouTube. And don't worry, folks, we won't do it. You know, I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> and so so I, I'm about ready to click the live. I, I clicked it right as Kenny started to make a joke. So I was like, very quickly hit my intro, you know, before it got too far. <laughs> <laughs> Smart it was man. hilarious. I was still laughing after the intro. I'm comic you know? and everything. <laughs> the comic it was hilarious com. though. But uh but yeah. So tonight, folks, we're gonna be you know drafting on the history of the 49ers, what we've done with Kyle and John. In the front office, though, you know that's that's very specific, right? And it only makes sense to do that. And we actually already have question in the chat. Shout out to Steve-O. What's going on, buddy? Steve-O. Nice. And his says, if say the Niners draft two, oh well, two in the first two rounds, and and well, two first rounds. Now. That means that means we'd have to trade up if we. I think he means like round one and two is what I think he means. You but know. we could. You never know. We could trade up, right? Yeah, I think he means in yeah. the first round, in the second round. Yeah, yeah, first, I think that's what first. he means. And they start as rookies. What does that look like? Um. Well, I don't think it could look worse than the right side look. Kind of, you know. I mean, last season McKivitt's. He did good against guys that were bull rushing and guys that weren't speed rushers. But when it comes to pass protection against a speed rusher, he allowed 13 sacks. Hmm. You know, Three in one game. And this is true to a speed rusher, T.J. Watt, right? Yeah. And, you know, I've seen him play guard. Honestly, I'm, I'm still convinced you get a good right tackle, you know, and you slide him inside to right guard. He's going to be better off because he's not dealing with the speed rusher. So, and he is he is above average offensive lineman. I don't I don't think he's terrible or nothing, you know. Yeah. But if we get two and they both end up beating out Burford and McKivitz, number one, we're going to have a strong bench because Burford and McKivitz will still be on the team. What right? a great yeah. problem! It is. It is. It's not a bad problem to have. Yeah. And number two, I mean, we're going to have some, we're going to see some growing pains, you, you know, throughout the season as they're learning what I, I don't know if Kyle would actually let them start to start the season. He might just, uh, he might just make it, you know, make, make them wait. Right. Like say eight games or so, because yeah. he wants them to thoroughly know the offense. Right. Or do a little bit like uh, like he did Burford his uh, first year and have him spell a little bit with uh, Brunskill and do that. Yeah, yeah. You know, he might just do that with Burford and Kivitz. I'll have them yeah. go in and for some plays. Or you, you, you never really know how it's going to look. That, but that, yeah. that's a really excellent question, Steve-O. Classic Steve-O. But yeah, the – so the history of what the 49ers have done, that's actually something I'm going to look up here so we know what these guys have done since John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan have joined the team. The color looks a little different on on here mm-hmm. than it does there. Looks redder. Hey, I, I'm actually watching the stream on over here, and I, it looks like I froze for a second. But uh, but you 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 look pretty good on YouTube, buddy. It's kind of Streamyard like I, my my colors don't look right to me right now. But I look at like what it's actually doing, you know, with yeah. the podcast, and it looks right. Okay, but it's it's kind of crazy how that how it does that. Is Bryant down there? Or is that just a screensaver? <laughs> he 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 held really still earlier. I thought he froze. Yeah, but he talked he's a lot. He's today. getting really good at that. He's, he's like he's sick of talking today. I think that's he, what it is. He's talked out. You talked yeah. out. You talked out. You used <laughs> yeah. up all your minutes. No, no. <laughs> uh, 
waiting for you know like that moment where you guys are like hey that guy that looks funny over there he might say something <laughs> i was gonna say this thing is broke did nope it's working broke it broke it <laughs> But yeah, I'm actually seeing, so, you know, last year we had three third rounders, two fifth rounders because we traded a fourth rounder to move up and get Jair Brown. So we had two fifth rounders, a sixth rounder, and three seventh. We we wow. had three, three third rounders, right? Yeah, yes. three third. Okay, three third round is two. Yeah, and we, we traded a fourth rounder with a third rounder to move up to get Jair Brown. Yes, it was Jair Brown, Moody, and Latu in the third. Yes, sir. Yes, La La who? La who? Drop two. La who? Well, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see who he is this this upcoming OTAs and yeah, he preseason and hey, don't count you know, anybody. But you know, like Drake Jackson. Oh, yeah, we didn't have a first rounder in 2022 because we traded it to get, you know, the quarterback. And then we had Drake Jackson in the second. Tyron, Tyron Davis Price, the running back in the third. TDP, that's what I was trying yeah. to think of. Yeah, that was it. I remember oh, Sermon, man. but I couldn't remember that other. <clears throat> well, then we took Danny Gray, and he just – we haven't seen him hit the field, and we haven't seen – him do anything. Maybe he can be that kick returner we're looking for. He's the new Jalen. The guy that can break through the line and break one, right? You, you never know. Hopefully, hopefully he doesn't he makes the team doesn't get cut. Although mm -hmm. our third rounders don't have a good history there. Fourth mm -hmm. rounder, Spencer Burford. Five was Sam Samuel Womack, which he still has potential. Six was Nick Zakel, which I think he's on the bubble. Kalia Davis, he might be on the bubble too. Mm -hmm. Tariq Castro Fields, who got picked up by the commanders oh. and stuck with them. That was a bad idea to cut him. And yeah. uh, of course, with Mr. Irrelevant, Brock Purdy. Home run. The year before, we picked, we traded up and we picked Trey Lance. The second rounder was Aaron Banks, our starting left guard. The third rounder was another running back that ended up being an eagle, which Terrell Davis Price ended up doing, Trey Sermon. That's it. Then we have Ambry Thomas, who might be on the bubble due to inconsistent play. <laughs> Jalen Moore also might be on the bubble. Diamador Lenore, which there are reports that were in talks for a contract extension with him. He's, I would like to see that happen. He showed up. He shows up. He's our nickel. Dude, he's a fifth rounder. He's a fifth rounder. Talanoa Hufunga, another fifth rounder. Fifth rounder. And, you know, he's going to be coming back from the ACL. So hopefully, you know, we see some good stuff out of him. Elijah Mitchell. Huh. If he's healthy, yes. he's really yes, good. Play. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> if he doesn't slip. We only had five, five draft picks in 2020 from. I think all the trades to get like Emmanuel Sanders and D Ford and those guys. But so we had Javin Kinlaw in the first. We had another first because we traded DeForest Buckner away. We picked Brandon Ayuk. Javin Kinlaw was actually the pick we picked with that pick, and that, that didn't exactly work out. I never saw Javon Our, Kinlaw go once in a mock draft in the first round, and the Niners took yep. him. I thought that was just well, weird. I so think we, we had didn't like a have great, a second, third, a or fourth senior bowl or something. Hmm. Yeah, but knowing he was hurt and still bringing him here, it's just like the same mistakes. I'll give I'll give people that. Kyle is very hard. Like I learned from my mistakes, I feel like immediately. But Kyle, I don't know. He gets stuck in these little loops. I think they they just think that. I think it's the Frank Gore effect. Uh, they really feel like they can get the. The diamond in the rough, it, that that Frank Gore thing, man. That that's once in a million. That that it, it, is it. Just, is it Moneyball for football? It don't happen like that, man. <laughs> that that's a rarity. You you know, it's like, hey, my kid's gonna be the next prince. No, that mm -hmm. doesn't. No, uh, uh, you don't get that. That 
that's rare. You know, two ACLs and never get injured again. It don't, yeah, it don't, yeah, it that's don't that's not, not everybody's well, like Frank Gore. Frank Gore, it happened to him one each knee, but he, yeah, he was he was rock solid, right? Yeah, but it, yeah. Does happen. But, uh, it does happen though, right? Maybe, maybe not so often in certain sports, but it does happen in, in other sports like Dale and Hurt Jr., his son, his daughter, his dad, his grandpa, you know, so like maybe some sport or some things it's in the blood, maybe. Maybe it's not all in football, but like there's even similarities in baseball. But it, it, it is, it, it's hard to replicate, you know, what your, you know, ancestors have done. But I don't know. Like I, I tell my grandmother all the time, like some of the things that she's done in her life, if I can get close to it, I think I will have lived a very uh, successful life. So, you know. yeah, but when you're drafting players, you're you're not gonna get that again. It's 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 like Adrian Peterson when he tore his ACL and came back and set a record for rushing. You're you're not getting that. That's not gonna happen again. Don't don't think people bounce back and don't even think that the guy's gonna be a bit diminished. That's what normally happens. You're not. Don't use that as your norm. When you're drafting people, yeah, because that's exception what they do. The <laughs> yeah, right. no, not the trip that's an Trent Balky. Yeah, Trent Balky yeah. yeah, like Trent, Trent think, oh yeah, well, every, you know, every time I draft a guy, that's what's going to happen. But yeah, you, you, know, you have like Ed McCaffrey, right? You know, who used to be a 49er Bronco player, right? Who has two sons who's coming into the league. Then you have, you know, other players, you know, as well, and. Yeah, it is, you know, like Frank Gore, you know, two two major knee surgery, you know, injuries before he comes in, you know, and no, you know, hopefully his son doesn't have the same kind of injury, you know, but then you look at what's his name, Chubb, right? For the Browns, he had a knee injury and then he had another significant knee injury and, you know, no, you don't want to see his son have the same thing, but some, some players, uh, it doesn't matter how many times they get hurt. They're they're like little rubber bands or something out there, and they just keep going. And some players, they're glass. And once they're hurt, they're, they'll never be the same. The the I'm I'm gonna be naming someone here in a minute. That's glass. But we got a so we got in the fifth round. This is 2020. Colton McKivitz, Charlie Warner. He's an Atlanta Falcon and Juwan mm. Jennings. All those players are still in the league. In 2019, Nick Bosa, Debo Samuel, two core players, and you're taught you, you were saying something about fragile glass. Jalen Hurd, you know, who was supposed to be he, a beast. He was supposed, he was supposed to, be, to be, be he was supposed to be a beast for us, folks. But maybe his body had too much mileage from playing from when he was a kid. Yeah. Who knows what the actual issue was, but. He never could get on the field. Yeah, he's retired now. Major spine injury. Yes. And uh, hey, we have the Aussie Aussie, mm -hmm. Mitch Wisnowski, in the fourth. Dre Greenlaw in the fifth, another core player. Caden Smith, tight end in the sixth. He was one of those guys that was cut. We were hoping we could get to the practice squad, but the Giants swooped on him. And, he, and I believe he's actually still in the league. I do not know where. Justin School, who mm -hmm. stuck with us for a few years, but I didn't end school. up making the squad last season. Mm -hmm. And Tim Harris, the corner. Then uh, 2018, Mike McGlinchey. Uh, the, the, do, you, do you like the dead silence, folks? I do, too. <laughs> Dante Pettis. Catman. Man, <laughs> Red <laughs> Warner, the, the guy that I, I should say, the guy that was permanently delegated to the doghouse, Dante Pettis. Um, then, then we have all oh, pro Fred, <laughs> Tavarius Moore, Contaverous Street. I don't think, I think Street Contavious ain't on the street. street. I believe he's somewhere. Yeah. DJ yeah. Reed, who's with the Jets. <laughs> Marcel Harris, I don't know if he's anywhere. I don't think he's in the league. Julian Taylor, who's not in the league, and Richie James, who is bouncing Richie around, James. folks. We don't Richie know where he's at. He won touchdowns in New York. 
Yep. Yeah, and Tavia Street this, went to this is Kyle's Boston first play. draft. Solomon Thomas. Oh. Which, uh, I mean, you know, ooh, he, he killed it at the combine. Look at his measurables. Okay. He never put it together on the field. All because he killed it at the combine doesn't mean you're going to be a good NFL player. Mm. You had Reuben Foster off the field issues, got cut. Akila Witherspoon, who never really panned out for us, but played a good season with the Rams last year. Yeah, he killed it. Oh, yeah. One, one of Brian's favorite QBs, CJ Beathard. Yeah. <laughs> CJ's a good guy. He's still backing up the Prince in in in, uh, in Jacksonville? Well, maybe not anymore because they got Mac Jones coming. So CJ might be the third stringer now. Wow. Uh, hey, he might I bet he meets out great- Mac Jones. We'll have to keep an eye on that. But, mind uh, you, my r- real quick, Dave. Mind you, this is the draft that had Patrick Mahomes and Deshaun Watson coming off a national championship. Yeah. We take Solomon Thomas. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And uh, don't forget Joe Williams, the Utah running back. He was a killer running back in college, but apparently there was something wrong with him because he didn't even make the squad in the fourth round. George Kittle, core player. Hit Trent hit. Taylor, he stuck with us for a little bit. Great, great in preseason in camp, but then it hit the season, and it's like he, he's there. He was there. Um, DJ Jones, who's still with the Broncos, they ain't letting him go. I do not – oh, my goodness, I do not want to mess this guy's name up. Pita Tamoana Pino. I totally messed his name up. I'm sorry, sir. Hey, it's, it's pretty good. He's a linebacker. He's a linebacker, but he's not in the league. And Adrian Colbert. The, that 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 was that's the draft. Mm. That's everyone he drafted. So pretty much, with the early picks, we're seeing trench players. The first four rounds. Actually, you could say five because Trey Lance, and then they picked Aaron Banks, another trench player, right? And then there's Drake Jackson, another trench player. Primarily defense with the first I mean, pick. Mm. Can, can you guess where we're going with the first pick? <laughs> DE. Um, we're gonna oh, well. we're gonna take a look. And we're gonna I, I'm actually I'm gonna set that up. But yeah, we're gonna see um like who's actually available here because Typically, it looks like we're taking defensive linemen with our first yes. draft pick in a lot of these. That's usually where they um, go. It depends who and falls. This to year, it. I mean, this year we're kind of stacked at the D line already. Yeah. So, but do, look, do you guys Ravens think they'll stacked. go that route? The Ravens have a great running game, right? But what did they do? They friggin' tripled down on the running. They already had a million yards from Lamar. You really don't even need a running back on the team, and they just got one of the greatest running backs ever. So well, strengthening your strength isn't totally bad, but it may not well, they, help you, you know, week seventeen anymore. Well, although they were they they were getting rush yards, they want to get the rush yards from the from back. the actual running back. <laughs> well, I, I said Lamar's a running back, but whatever. Yeah, they 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 want to do it. It's like yeah. we we had great rush yards when Debo Samuel was being utilized as a running back, but we want to get him from the guy with RB beside his name, no, named that- Christian McCaffrey. And I think so, they wanted to do the same thing too. I, I'm just teasing the Ravens. Oh yeah so, yeah. so the John Lynch, John Lynch and Chris Forrester, which Chris Forrester is our Offensive, offensive line coach was and, this Washington and, as in the college pro day Washington what do you hey, mean Giants fan this is from rising Rhino shout out to the guy he does a lot of a lot of game calling you, you know broadcasting How's it going? says yes popped in the oh chat. yes yes nice, there man. it is so that means that they were in the great state of Washington for the pro day. Okay. And I mean, what what prospects do we have here in Washington? Let's see. Washington's there's a there's a lot of good players from Washington. They had a good well, year. 
the yeah, college of Washington. I mean, down to the like, tight end. Um, oh, so they're up there looking at the ride right receiver, Rome O'Duns? No. <laughs> the Jets going to get that guy. Dude, what if that's <laughs> what they were looking at? That's what I thought. What if they're, hey, you never know. You never know, hey, right? Do they have a tackle up there for sure? Yeah, they you do. know, you're right. The they do right here. Okay. Troy, Troy Fontano. Okay. Fontano. I think. And he's at 19, Fontano. too. I, yep. I would have been down in the great state of Alabama. But I mean, what else? He, what else he, they got here? Is there anyone he, else up here? Man. Michael <laughs> Penix Jr., the corner or the QB. No. Yeah. Oh boy. The quarter. <laughs> Don't say it, Brian. <laughs> Is uh Bo Nix still at 30? Oh, he, he dropped to 32. Hmm. Tyler Guyton dropped to 30. Who who moved up? Powers? No, I think he moved back. Graham. He did, he Arden. moved back. Graham. Kool-Aid. I'm just thinking. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing. I'm hearing Kool-Aid's got uh, medical issues. Not the. I don't <laughs> think it's Liz. Liz Frank. It's an another fracture in his foot. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna start the draft, and I don't. I kind of feel like we uh, shouldn't trade. But what do you guys think? I think we should uh, take Bo Nix at thirty-two, at thirty-one. Oh, if he's there. I think we should move up. I can argue why we should take him too. And what, I why should we take him? I think he'd be good oh. insurance. He'd be great insurance. I don't know. I mean, Dobbs, remember, Dobbs he'll and, and Mom. He'll be, he'll be real cheap for a little while, right? Dobbs. He's all gone, guys. Look. I paused at 25, and they're all gone. Let's look at offensive tackle. So if they were up there, if they were up in Washington, well, now that the, they go look at, they go to look look at a lot of pro days. The chances are they're looking at, they're looking at Font, uh, Fontenew. And let's see where he got took. We're at to pick 25. That's right? Green Bay. Or probably. No. JC Latham went yeah, twenty one. So he fell. You got you, yeah, you gotta get it. You gotta get about I'm thinking nine no seventeen. Ten. <laughs> uh, Ooh, he went he went before before Fashano. Mims went number fourteen. Man, that guy is a boomer bus pick, though. Yeah, good luck. I wouldn't mess number with ten that. to the Jets. Look at Dijon to to the to the Broncos. That's awesome, man. If Sertan and Cooper Dijon on the in that backfield, that's nasty. Who number ten to the Jets? And right now, on the See, board, oh well, we have Latu the edge from UCLA, which is someone. A lot of uh, other content creators have been mocking him to us. A trade up. I don't, like I don't that know guy. if that's going to be the case. I don't need another lot to on this team, and mm. I don't like Pac-10 defensive ends. Uh, mm -mm. No, is uh, <laughs> what's that's what's best. Uh, that's what best player available. Okay, what's that quarterback, David? I, yeah, they're still there. There he is. Those but, guys but, together. But, half but the, the, the thing, though, is is the Niners be, typically go like, you know, trench player, edge, defensive tackle with this pick. And the guy I'm looking for isn't even on the board. And you know, nope, there he is, Byron Murphy. Byron Murphy. Murphy's hmm. Law. That's right, we're going to let her. You're so saying we can okay. either trade up with Green Bay or let it ride. What do you guys La think? Let it ride. To the Tampa, I think, lot too. Let it ride. Oh, they're both gone. Okay, why don't we need a quarterback? Why wouldn't we need a quarterback? If Brock gets hurt, 
you could have Bo Nick step in right now and play. He's better than the pass or not. He's better than um, <laughs> uh, what's, the one call, crazy? what's the one that we just got? He's better than uh, Brandon Allen Duck or Duck Allen. B.A. Uh, <laughs> Brandon Allen. Josh Dobbs. It's not. It's the Dude, first round. Wiggins. Let's go. Wiggins. We haven't had a first round in so long. We don't know what to do with it. That was the first pick I made, Wiggins. That was that was. I, I feel like we need that. Guy. None of these. None of these uh, trade offers are enticing. No, nah, I wouldn't make you an enticing trade either. I um, trade. And at this point, we're we're in a contract wait. talks with the Amador Lenore. But who's yep. going to be put, who, replacing Javarius Ward? Right. I next think year, you, next I, year it could I be Wiggins, you, Womack, and Luter. I think you go with Wiggins. Yeah, man, Wiggins is nice. I think you go there. Best player available. It's a it's a number two. It's gonna be an A plus because it's a I would 22. Think so. yeah. I think you go. But typically they go like in like like defensive linemen. But, yeah, I mean, at, this but, point, but at this point, look at how the board fell though. I don't think they're taking gonna take Braden Fisk at the 31 overall. You could still Murphy. get an old lineman in your next pick though. Murphy's not there. Go back to all. No, Murphy is not there. Yeah, they take me. He's ranked 18 today. And that that's the way to put it is today. That's so like you when could... you when you like get a prize and you open it and you're like, "Oh, this is what I have." Um uh, that's kind of how you guys feel right now, right? I like the Wiggins pick. That would be sick. Yeah, yeah that'd be. He's, take, I mean, that, take, this take, guy, take. his Jones fracture that he didn't even know about when he was at the uh, combine. <laughs> that's yeah. the type of stuff that's concerning. I feel like the name scares me just a little because he's like expected to be super cool and awesome because his name is Kool Aid. It's a lot of pressure. Yeah. Well, and and then, then I mean, a guy yeah. like Graham Barton. That's your safe bet. What's he? What's he? A guard? Uh, yeah, guard no, yeah. center guy. We don't need a guard. Yes, he's a guard. A guard in the first round. That sounds yeah, boring. Graham's a nice guy. You could take Graham. Super nice. Yeah. He's yeah. a nice guy. But what's his hair though? Anyone got a picture? He's got obviously. He has no, a no, no. This is not how the 49ers draft, folks. <laughs> so <laughs> we're looking at we're looking at the trench cool. players. Give me the guy have the Nate flip. Wiggins available here. And considering, you know, Traverius Ward's a free agent after this next year, right? What? That'd be can a good look at, Can we look at what cornerback good. went before him just to see why? Like, why is he there? Who, do, who, who, are the, who are the corners that went before him? Can we look at that real quick just to see? Like, obviously, I don't DeJean, like the pick. I don't know if they're saying Dejan is a, a safety. Rick, but... Rick Straw. Oh, the Bills picked Byron Murphy at 28. Mm. I, oh, I had a feeling. Nice. We could have traded up three spots. That wouldn't have cost much. Oh, it would have cost probably two picks. All right. There's like a huge – like, look at this. There's no cornerbacks. None. Wow. Okay, there's a big gap there. Was that the first cornerback? That's why, No, it had to be Dijon by the Broncos. All right, we saw that already. You either take Nate or you take Graham because Kool Aid is yeah, just it, too actually hot. Mitchell, Mitchell. Mitchell from Minnesota Toledo. Ah, uh, yes. Toledo was the first. Oh, Arnold. And Arnold, Arnold at Atlanta. Atlanta. Oh, well, Arnold, yeah. Nice. Yeah, no, there had to be. I just wanted to see, like, the gap. Like, the, like how. Oh, my goodness. The Bears what? took J.J. McCarthy. No. That's a weird one. <laughs> no, not for the that's Bears. <laughs> In the real Bears? life, I, I know, I know a guy, and if they take JJ McCarthy, the, he's the, 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 the Bears will bear on quarterback. Bear down. Bear down. <laughs> that that can happen. <laughs> the Bears will make the wrong choice. Yes. Well, the, <laughs> like I was saying before, guys, we take trench players, and I honestly, I am not a fan of this Tyler Guyton guy. I watch well, tape. He's always like there. Yeah, that, that looks I like a watch tape on him. He reminds me of Mike McGlinchey. Mike McGlinchey, time. yes. Yeah. He's tall, he's lanky, he's going to get pushed around. That is a 49er yeah. pick. He's good. I say, so we're take him. <laughs> I say, let's, let's, let's make some offensive line competition. 
If we want a realistic going, draft, offensive line of competition, good. we're going to take the guard. And I mean, if Burford, you know, ends up being the backup, then we have an experienced backup now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. 63. What are they offering? A lot. 72, 134, and 257. A lot of guys are bad. on the practice squad. We're gonna we're we're gonna look at the, at these trades yeah. and I'm gonna hit X because you, you click on the phone and it'll bring them back up. X that one I'm rejecting because I'm not into that. Reject. Not feeling it, Steelers. Not dead either. Hmm. This one is pretty good. Yeah, it's a whole round. Okay. And and the drop ain't too bad either. It's four picks down. That that's yeah. interesting. That's interesting. With that, that's pretty good. That's like that's what I'm rejecting. Yeah, reject that. This reject. one, I don't think this one's as good as that uh, as Washington. No, that, that Washington. Good, that Washington. That Washington's good. Oh, well, no, oh, no. no. Oh heck, no. No, no, too far. So we'll hold on to the Washington pick. Let's look who's. Let, let's look at who's on the board. Oh no, another Michigan wide receiver. No. <laughs> oh, Jatavian, dude. The yeah, the Texas tight end right there. That's tempting. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And we can. I just hope we plays. We can get him. Charlie Werner is pretty solid. I mean, I, I have a feeling he's going to be our second tight end. Is he in Atlanta or who didn't Charlie we Warner's in? Yeah, he signed yeah, with Atlanta. Like, so we so don't have Dwelly. We got either Cameron Latou or Braden Willis, right? And what happened to Dwelly? He's gone too. It's going to be Chris. I, I'm Brown. referring to the. Okay, so we've took an edge. We took an offensive lineman. This is in the second round. A wide nice. receiver. Two wide receivers. There's two wide receivers. The pick's Chris Braswell. Mm. Oh, Sounds Bryant's strange. right though. Bryant's right because he's an edge. He's a, a you know a trench player, right? Mm. Yeah, but we use tight ends like tackles on this team. Yeah, they don't and, need to catch. And they can do two things, right? They can catch and they can block, not just block. This is true. This is true. So so here we go. We we got either Jatavian Sanders, tight end, or Chris Braswell, edge, Alabama. Well, remember, we also signed that guy Sour t- Sourbin, Sourbone or something. Eric, something. Eric, Eric Sa- Saubert. Eric Sauber. Oh, Sauber. Sauber. Now, that, that might just be a camp body. I don't know if he'll yeah, actually I, make the squad. Yeah, yeah, he's a journeyman as well. I think it's been at least three teams. Yeah, he didn't sound like he was going to stick, but I just wanted to bring that up. You never know. You never. If, if we would have got Brock right, then I wouldn't even be looking at the tight end right here. Yeah, that was our our initial target. But you know, you take the constellation prize and a, a free subscription to Rice Aroni. <laughs> the San Francisco. Look, Brian, Brian's right though. Brian's right. Brian's right. We're going with the defensive end. You know, when you're a cop, you get sick of here then. <laughs> <laughs> hey Brian, do you get sick of hearing that? I right. always told I'm wrong, you know, and I'm like, whatever, guys. Yeah, I'm that's just by me. <laughs> and here we are. We're at pick 94. We probably could have took that trade down. I didn't think of that. No, the Washington. That's not terrible. I'm not yeah. seeing anything. I want to just pull the trigger on there. Yes. Man, I don't like any a doorless, I guess, but you can't anymore. See, I would have liked doorless to be hey, we got the we we got our edge, we got our inside offensive People lineman. Like... Ooh. Blake Fisher. Blake. Go. Did up. you you saw what I was seeing? Blake the snake. I like Cameron Hinchins here. Oh yeah, the you you. And you get him safety. he's he's a safety. You get him 80th pick, you get him at 94 we're up that's uh that addresses a big need uh did did gibson retire uh i was on the program early if, he, if gibson's out we need a free safety yeah and we need safety help you got uh a huff coming back off of an injury he's going to be a little bit you know touch and go there for a second you you need safety help that's 
that's the mood to get right now. Uh, he's he's solid. He's a ball hawk. He makes plays back there. Not a great 40. Uh, it's at 4-6, but the guy can play center field. That's the mood to make right now. Cameron Henshins, yeah. the U. I, I agree, but because it's the third round, I think we would have to move to Spencer Rattler at this time and make a pick. Mm, third and round, and we're going to pick a quarterback? Yeah. That sounds like a disaster. I think that's yes. the logical pick that the <laughs> Niners Spencer, at this time. Spencer Rattler. I've been I, following Spencer Rattler since high school. That guy's in his head. He, no, I'm telling he, you, Dobbs. He's a Dobbs, bad he's, Dobbs is my not, guy. Dobbs is my guy. Yeah, but think Spencer, about it, Jared. No, think Spencer about Rattler, it. So he's right. 33. It's well, saying he's a free right agent. Hmm. Who Gibson? I don't see anything yeah. saying that he's retired yet. No, I think okay. we still have. Him. I was I was on some last uh, an hour ago, and they said he is retiring, but I didn't hear anything about it either. But I know it, I he's a little old. I, I don't see any official reported news. Though. It sounds like that makes sense, though. I know he's old in the tooth, but all right. So the pick him. here is either Blake Fisher from Notre Dame. Mm. You do have that tight end right there, which I like Fisher, or, but or Cameron tough. Kitchens, the safety. Yeah, it's going to be Cameron or it's going to be Rattler. And I think logically the Niners would go with Rattler because it's a third-round pick. You take the safety, they could take the safety either high with the first-round pick or they're going to take it late with, like, a six-round pick. They're not going to – Hold on, this is a third-round round pick? Oh, you know what that means. This is why the Niners have their own – This is a third-round pick. Let's look at running backs. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> I'm saying Notre Dame offensive tackle. We have good oh. luck with those guys. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, when, when it comes down to it, that we do value trench players, and the offensive line is lagging right now. Banks and McGlinchey, Notre Dame. You could take Blake Fisher. Line. Blake Fisher would be fine. I, I agree with that. Never I like Fisher there. I wouldn't worry about the numbers too much because they're going to change next week. They are. Yeah. Let's look at offensive tackle. See who's left. And also, um, yeah, and also see what's going to happen. Where we could be. Where could we pick next? And if do we like the that? Rosen Rosen Garten is a uh, dedicated uh, right tackle. Will he make it? Christian to Jones is still there. Will he make it to one twenty four though, Roger? Because I know he's I don't moving. Think so, there's a center. This guy's Zin a center. And oh, we did that already. This guy's a center. Mm. Zach Zinter. Zinter yeah. at center wouldn't be terrible, but I think you can still get someone else later. We can. There's a guy, Tanner Bortolini, I've actually been watching. He's he's kind of a beast. Blake, uh, yeah. I like Blake. That's all right. Name. We're gonna take we're gonna take we're we're going trenches again. They didn't like it. That's what the Niners like. Yeah, I knew they didn't weren't gonna like it. They want you to take one of these fancy e guys. Hey, I still got me a good grade. I'm still on the honor roll. I'm not on the high honor roll yet, though. All right, Jets, you will not be trading with us today. Jets think they win the Super Bowl this year. They they could. Yeah, they, they do. They really think it's going to happen. Because they got Rodgers coming back. If I think it was hurt, supposed to happen last anymore. year, but they got hurt, and they had to go back to the uh, Mahomes script. But I think yeah. last year was supposed to be an Aaron Rodgers script. Oh, there's still yeah. James, James Williams there. He's a box guy. Hmm. Demerson is not bad, though. Well, he'd be like he, – he'd be like a – a uh, special team slash extra linebacker kind of ish. Yeah, he's huge. He's six five guy. Adrian Taylor. What do we know about the man? Texas Tech. Oh, this is when you take There's the a running thing. back. That's when you take the running back right there. And look, listen, you can still go. Oh. You can get a. You can get Does the. Does anyone know anyone know anything about Braylon Allen? Wisconsin guys can play. Wisconsin running backs. They usually play good. Where's Eli Mitchell from? Where did he play college? Does anybody know Eli Mitchell? No. Eli Mitchell. Ask Siri. Elijah Mitchell? Elijah Mitchell, yes. Uh, where did he play college? Give me just a minute. I'll okay. tell you. But, uh, theory can't be like right. 
Ooh, I'm getting all this stuff from Facebook. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm live on Facebook, too, right now. Nice. Speaking of all, all you folks on Facebook, I'm probably going to, because I can't see the comments and stuff, I'm going to be going live on YouTube and Twitter. Um, and it's free to, it's free to subscribe. You know, you should subscribe to Kenny 49er Culp and Bryant Culp and Terror Dome too, while you're at it. Cause they're all on the panel right now. A lot of nice guys. Elijah Mitchell says running back. Okay. where did he come from? Louisiana. It was a uh, Cardinal. Aren't they the Cardinals? Louisiana, yeah. Louisiana University, of Louisiana. Yeah, Louisiana. Yeah, aren't they the Cardinals? Louisiana. Like, LS, LSU, LSU, Southern LSU, something like that. Louisville. The the Was he on the Mud Dogs with? Uh, Is it Louisville? Bobby Hold Boucher. On. Remember, Louisville. I'm, I'm a hillbilly, folks. Louisville says, the Cardinals. It says Louisiana. That's all it says. Louisiana, Louisiana. Louisiana. It doesn't say it's University of or. It's like a, yeah, it does say just Louisiana. The Ragin' Cajuns of Louisiana. Oh, is that what they are? Yes, sir. Hey, University, that's it. University Watch of out. Louisiana from <laughs> La Lafayette. They're Division yes. One. Yes, there's an angry prawn on their helmets. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you better Sun watch out, Ragin' Cajuns, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Sun Belt Conference. But Br Bryant's actually right, though, because we typically will. I mean, it's not the third round, though, Brian. It's the fourth. Oh, no, please um, don't take a running back. Don't uh, do it. Don't do it. I'm being funny. Draft a free, <laughs> free guy at a bus stop can run on this team. Please, come on. And if I'm right, folks, I don't want any hate mail or don't unsubscribe. I'm guy on a bus funny. stop. On, send uh, on send Steve-O the hate mail. Stop? He'll answer you back. Steve-O handles all our complaints. Oh, my goodness. Why did he drop? Complaint department. Complaint department is Steve-O, so just go ahead and he'll take care of it. Yeah, he dropped, I got uh, 16 spots from last week, guys. Brendan Rice. Hmm. I'm not a fan Luke of that. after he gained five. Not a fan. He, rather he, have dropped, he dropped 16 spots. I'd rather have Luke McCaffrey as my number one pick for the legacy player. That's my guy. And we're at 124 and he's still available? Huh. That's crazy. Anyway, so, again, Traverius Ward's a free agent. I'm looking at the Cam Hart guy right now. We're getting in the fourth round. Hmm. I like this Cam is Hart. They, this is when we start taking position players because they're getting redshirted, right? Yeah. I like Cam Hart. He has heart. I That's exactly it. it. He has heart. Okay. And he's from Notre Dame, and we we draft we like guys from Notre Dame. Heart, Notre well, Dame. Okay, I'll we'll go take Blake it. Fisher's teammate. Boom. Oh, it gave me an A plus. Mama said okay. I'm a winner. The Alpha Plus. Um, There's Rosengarden. I know he's he's there. He's the dedicated right tackle. Good guy. Just, we, we got Blake Fisher. Rice. We we don't need Brendan Rice. <laughs> Unless we're trading Ayuk, and then I'm all for it. He's but you're still not gonna there, huh? Here. Well, that that's the thing is we we got to think ahead. Yeah, we're drafting and for not this year. That's exactly it. We're at the point we're drafting for next year, right? So so, uh, are you kidding? Zach Center is still here. Like yeah, if I can. if we get out of there with. All those guys, Zinter, Rosengarden, Fisher, like, that would be insane. Like, that's what people want, right? So, well, Zach Zinter, do what if, they want. If, I'm just if, what if, want. Uh, I got to make sure I'm right here because I got all this. I have a whole bunch of notes written down. What we, what we have is a bunch of dice rolls this year, right? Nope, he's the guard. He's not a center. He's a guard. We just mm. took a guard. I mean, next year, we can have a bunch of guys making no money on the line if it just works out. I mean, this is the mm -hmm. chance to do it. That's what you want. That's what we've done. That's what we've done. We got I mean, a whole bunch of guys Brock making no out. money. Trent we got, will be we got, Yeah, Trent and the... A bunch uh, of young, hungry boys on like the line. Benny and the Jets. 
Mm. Yep. Let's see. Bor Bortolini. Where is everybody else? Sounds like excellent pizza, by the way. <laughs> Doesn't it? Hey, you guys want to get pizza? Yeah, let's get Tanner Bortolini's tonight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Marinero sauce. Yeah, they got the brick oven and everything. Nice. Oh, Drake Nugent, all these guys are gone? I would trade this pick away. I don't like any of these people. <laughs> well, those are all inside <laughs> offensive linemen. Yeah. Okay. I was just look I was looking at center to see what was there. Center. But we we already got our guard. We got an offensive tackle. We got I mean, an edge. Dude, we do need a center. We do. Got Nick not, not, not at 124, though. At 124, yeah. we're taking uh, Juwan Jennings' replacement. Hmm. So this Johnny Wilson guy. I mean, Johnny I love Wilson. FSU is did, did you guys see my joke? Did you guys see my joke? No. No, what'd you say? Johnny Wilson? I said I said Johnny Winston, Wilson, but I took Brendan Rice. Oh, okay. Yeah, there okay. you go. Okay. Yeah, I mean, at that point this in the draft, if you can get right size, right, dude, is, size wise, he's about as big as Jennings. Speed wise, he's actually faster. So I mean, but look what pick it is, and you can bring Jerry's kid over. I mean, you just do that. That's a that's a no brainer. Yeah, you're at one thirty two. People can't be expecting him to fill Jerry's shoes at one thirty two. It'll make right? it'll ne it probably no. will. It, it's ninety nine percent chance it's not going to happen. So, I mean, you can't, you know, I mean, do, would you think you were coming into the league that you were going to surpass Jerry Rice on anything? No. No. But look, well, Puka, Puka already did something. All right. So we got to look like safety tight end. Let's look at safeties real fast. See who's available. We're at 135. I don't think, I don't think we'll be picking for a minute after this. Ooh, look at that. Um, actually, they they've had interviews with Sony Vaki. If yeah, he would heard. play, that would probably yeah. be the pick. Well, he plays. He played both ways. He played safety and running back. So, could he be our kick returner? Man, that's what makes or or a punt the... returner. Yeah, he could legit be that. I mean, we need a return guy. We and this guy, if we like versatile players, we've interviewed the guy twice. Put him in. That's gonna be your guy. Yep. Yep. Interview twice. Versatile. Uh, yeah. That's exactly it. Brian's quiet. Right, you good? Yeah, yeah I, mean, I want a quarterback. We can oh, pick you, a quarterback up. Okay. Undrafted free agent quarterback. Well, tell tell you what, we're gonna make Brett, we're gonna put Bryant in charge of this next one. We're gonna do one more. <laughs> and we're gonna be probably taking Bo Nix with the 31, but you know, we'll see. Yes, yeah, get him a quarterback. Um Bo Nix. So we're at 176. Nehemiah Pritchett's there though, man. Like I'm saying, like, I don't know. I'm I'm like a kid in the candy store. Let me refer to refer to our draft history here. Offensive line, defensive line, linebacker. Our problems are what? You know, we've had problems at D back, right? Uh, defensive backs, we've had problems at O line, and we've had problems with um something else Corner. right now. Uh corner, tight end. Tight end, tight end. Tight end. Right? Just hit all those positions, man. This is a dice roll. You have to, you have to like try out three guys at each position. Do it. But if we can hit on one, it's done. What a couple. We've picked tight end a couple times and linebacker around this area. Yeah, yeah, we do need linebacker. I mean, if we only have to fix let's, three let's positions see who's available here, let's try and do that. I'm saying, you know, come, Jaheim, come to the wheel draft. Jaheim Bell is actually Jaheim Bell can play quite a bit, hasn't he? And mm. and Dolan Hoker is a good player too. Uh, I feel like we could take somebody else's um, tight end who was drafted um, sooner from their. You guys front. notice someone missing? He should be I, between one ninety six and two seventy eight. A culp. He's missing. Somebody already got him. Bryant, where's your cousin, buddy? 
Uh, that guy's been moving up because we keep taking them first in every draft we do. <laughs> yeah, 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 there move, he, yeah, he went to Green Bay. We're messing up At the 169. Curve. He went to Green Bay. He's going to be literally tied in three. Hey, man, that's cool. Because they took uh, Musgrave and Croft are, last year. You guys are passing the ball. Go have fun. Yeah, man. It's insane. Uh, what's the kid? Love up there. Jordan Love's going to be. Mm -hmm. yep. With a running back yeah, with yeah. Jacobs. So linebacker, let's look at some linebackers. It's we another position we take right them. here. Alafoshio. 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 I, I should have said if Bryant can pronounce it, I'll draft him. I'm just kidding, Bryant. I'm he could be called Ulo for show. For show. For Ulo, Ulo for the, show. The second guy. Ulo you guys want to give that one a shot? Marist? Maris. Uh, Leo Feo. Leo Fu. 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 Yeah, and I've heard that name before, and I've heard them talk about him. And you're still on honor roll too. Uh, wow. Yeah, They're... I'm still doing good. I haven't. Yeah, you can. B plus is the worst. worst yeah, your worst grade okay. is a B plus. Yeah, you still. Yeah, but uh... that B plus is 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 a you know it's a mistake because that's a need. And just because he was you know there was a guy there that was ranked twenty things below, that's just what they want you to do. They want you to take the deal, right? Ooh, there's the tight end right there, Dallin Hulker, Colorado State. You He's can always good. miss once, like when you got the gun range, you know, one goes off the page, you're like, it's all good. That one, yeah, you, know, yeah. Counts that. You, you don't you count jerked, that one. You jerk, yeah. you jerk. Uh, it was I'm going to take this guy, oh. the, the tight end. He's good. Got an A plus. Yeah. Nice. Baltimore's offering something. No, thank you. Hmm. Did the yeah. quarterback get taken? Dang it. It looks like he did. Is um, Owen's son still there? I have never seen him even on a draft board. Yeah, I haven't either. I was just curious. Tariq. I'm just wondering if he's even on a draft board because it's like, where yeah, is this guy? Free agent. That's what I thought. <laughs> you know what? When we start the next, like we're going to do two. When we'll I like start the next one, let's look for him. Yeah, go alphabetical. Let's see where he's at. What's but his name? This... Tar Tariq Owens? Yeah, Tariq yes. Owens. It's spelled weird. I'm just Not looking Owens. for the last name Owens right now. And uh, we're, we're, down to get, we're getting down to 500. So we'll look for him next time. That maybe he's a second round pick. You never know, right? I mean, you but know. They're listed as a uh, safety in one draft. Oh, that's right. He was listed as a safety. And, unless it wasn't, it was a different Tariq Owens. Which is totally possible. Tyler. Maybe he is a safety. That's Tyler, though, not Tariq. No, it's Tariq. I was actually gonna Brian's been screaming for a QB. So let's look at let's look at QBs. <laughs> oh, he's still there. Tua Tawiova, brother? No, I'm looking at the BYU quarterback, Kendon Slavis. Slavis? Have, has there ever been a <laughs> Slavis quarterback? And a lot of people, <clears throat> a lot of like scouts are actually ranking him in the second to third round. Mm -hmm. These guys got him at 289. I heard the UK, the UK kid, Devin Leary, is pretty good. And... Uh... Got I wonder a Notre if Jack, Dame. Now I know Plumbers and uh uh often you, you well not an a you know name it, common there's name a lot of guys but, named Plumber, but is but that Jake the Snake? Jake, it might be a Jake the Snake. Could, Could be, that be Jake, Jake the Snake's offspring? There, Jake Could Plumber was fun to play be. with on Madden. What school is he at, Jack? Jack Plummer, Dad. Louisville, the same, Louisville. same one it, Elijah what? Mitchell went to. Look at that. So weird, and he's even on the card. <laughs> that, that's exactly it. That's what I was like, his, huh? That's so his, weird. 
His dad name is Steve Plummer, known as Jake wow. Plummer. His mother is Marilyn Plummer, wow. Jack Plummer's sibling. There are a ton of legacies this year. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's insane. Former Denver quarterback Jake Plummer is often thought as relative to Louisville Cardinal quarterback well, since- Jack Plummer due to their similar names. However, two are not related. Not related. Uh-huh. That's pretty cool. Let's go to wide receiver. Wide receiver. Come on, give me a wide receiver. Nope. Corny Jones. Washington has severely dropped. Yeah, over and over. People um, pick receivers after him. It's pretty bad. But Oman Ra that happened to last year, remember? I, I wouldn't worry about that. See what I mean? Like, remember last year we were watching the draft, or was it the year before? And nobody was taking Amon Ra, and I'm just waiting, and everyone's waiting. <laughs> And the camera's still on him, and they were waiting and waiting, and they finally took him. And it paid off. Well, at this point, what position do you guys think? Ooh, Jordan Jefferson is sitting there. But at, at this point, I'm looking at it like, I think interior were, were well taken care of there. Because, I mean, we have Hargrave, Collins, Elliott, you know, Kalia Davis, uh, Kevin Givens. These are those are just five guys that are competing, and they'll be adding to the competition, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, man, it's like, what about Edge? Cedric Johnson, Mississippi. Sure, we're gonna uh, have to have. Got, I mean, we're gonna have to have rotational and. You know the competitive nature of it all too, because um, guys gonna get spent. I know we got Bosa and we got what's his name Lloyd or Floyd Lloyd. Yeah, we got both the Lloyd, uh, Gross Matos, Drake Jackson, Robert Beal Jr. Ooh, Drake and Beal can go off, guys. We, Robert we Bill Jr. actually looked good in the Super Bowl. I'm I'm thinking that kid might have a future with us. I, I hope he does. He's got the traits, but you know, I, what do you guys think happened with Drake last year? What was that? I don't, man. Uh, again, I tell you, these Pac-10 was it a flag guys, man, or, or, or I, a joke, like a mistake. Uh, did we see? Like, did we see talent, raw talent there? And then, like, maybe he just like. You think they took him out and like he did something wrong? Like, how do you go uh, from three sacks to nothing? Uh, these Pac 10 dudes, man. Brian, Brian, Pac-10. what you picking here, buddy? Crazy. I'm gonna give you the whole next draft, but what are you picking here? Oh, then let everybody else pick. I'll be very fast on the next pick, but yeah, right here. You you guys just go ahead. If you're gonna really make me pick, I'm taking that guy, Jay Lix. You're taking who? Scroll down. Jalex, yeah, Jalex Hunt. Jalex, Austin Baptist. But don't don't pick him. But if you're really making me pick, I'm picking him because he has the coolest name. I like that Maryland running, <laughs> running back from Maryland. Terradome. Ter- who who would you take right here? Uh, Cedric. Oh Miss Cedric Johnson. Oh Miss. Yeah, I mean, competition. Why- what if that guy's you're going to take edge, too. You see the logic. I like it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> At this point, this is the point. <laughs> when I guess to our pick, I'm going straight to QB. Sam Hartman is still there. Look at that. Wow. Oh. We tried he's to not up. the guy I'm looking at. He's not the guy I'm looking at. Ian Book Sam. was their last guy that we tried to have. So... My guy Damian Lee, which I actually sent him the link. I better check. Nope, he's not in. Um, he likes this guy from Kentucky, Devin Larry. Yeah, hearing good things about him. Let's watch some film on him. And I'm I'm actually hearing a lot of this, this guy moving up on people's boards. Keaton or Keden Keaton Slavis. And uh Slops. I Weird mean name. Sam Hartman, you know, Notre Dame, you know, Joe Montana school. I mean, we already yeah, like, was before the Kentucky guy 40 years ago. We already have two Notre Dame guys. I mean, were we just picking everybody in Notre Dame? 
I'm taking but the We're, we're going to go with the BYU guy. No, no, no. Let's go with Damian Lee's guy, Devin Leary. Devin Leary. Give Sounds like Kevin, Kevin Leary's. Uh, it gave me a C plus for that grade. You see that? Yeah. Rescue me. Hayton. But, they yeah, so, you know, we, we, we value the trenches. So, we got a guard, mm-hmm. an edge, and a tackle with those first three picks, right? Oh, it's starting yeah. to work. Yeah, that's a 49er. That's a 49er draft. And then, you know, a QB at the end of the draft, depth, another edge for competition. Yeah. Tight end late in the draft. He can compete with Braden Willis and Cameron Latou, right? Yeah, he's he's better than them. Hmm. We're going to restart. Bam. Restart draft. Back to the future. Oh, now, now's the one that tries to hit us with the ads, too. Don't pay attention to the ads, folks, unless they actually use it. I love I want that. To see the, the land of exceeding expectations. Yeah. I wonder Ir- that ironically, that's, you know, it's good for the draft. Let me take a quick, <laughs> quick commercial. <laughs> <Land. right here. laughs> you, can, you can pay attention to this least, uh, uh, ad on the bottom here if you want. You know. Hard draft. Uh, it's a hard boot camp, though, folks. It is. Let's go. <laughs> anyway, Bryant. Bryant. Mm. Ready. So you just want me to let it ride to 31? Yep. Dangerous. Danger. Well, you never know who's going to be available. They haven't taken J.J. McCarthy again, the Bears. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Marga just went off the board. Caleb is going to be a bust. Nathan went off the board at 19. Mm. Very similar. Reject. Very similar to the – hold on. Bryant wants to look at the draft offers. The Raiders are offering us – well, we moved back 13 spots, but they're offering us the 148, 223, 229. Bengals, wow. holy moly. Oh. Who would do that? Nobody would do that. They would but, it's what it takes. But next year's net next year's too, though. The AI is a little silly. Honestly, this one ain't bad, but we're moving back 20 spots. <laughs> Don't help the Steelers out, man. They're taking it all. All right, Brian. You taking any of these trades? No. So you got Kool-Aid. Ooh, there's Jackson Powers. Hate everyone there. <laughs> you don't like Jackson Powers? Well, Levi made me nervous. No, Dude, he's a I short, don't... stocky guy, though. Brock could actually, like, a lot of people make jokes about him being short. He's six foot one. You know, James Richard Garoppolo was like half an inch taller than him. Yeah, so and he's the same, size as, the same size as Mahomes, and they have the same ha- uh, size hand. They're like the same guy. Patrick Mahomes, he has the same hand size as Patrick Mahomes, Purdy. Yeah, yeah. And, but the thing Purdy has is uh, he can actually throw it 35, 40 yards downfield, and he's got wheels. Hmm. Um, watching James Richard Garoppolo run was uh, – Okay, it was hard. Let's scroll back. Anyway, up. this is uh, best available. This is best available. There's Bo Nix. There's your guy. Okay, we're going to take Bo, Bo Nix, and then we're going to move on. This draft is going to be unhinged. <laughs> we're taking the QB, folks. That way, when this next offseason, when you know someone offers us the moon for Brock Purdy. They gave you a B for Bo. Better than a, it's better than a D. I would pay attention to the grades, really. <coughs> I'm gonna reject the, the trades. All trades are rejected. Ooh, ooh, the tight ends there. Man, it's freezing. Can, we, it uh, can we scroll back up just a little bit? We're at pick 50, uh, 63. Can you yes, say? Sir. 
can you take uh, pick number 53 right now? J Javon Bullard? Yes. Oh, he's seeing all the same guys. So he, he got a safety. We're going to have some competition in that room with Hufunga coming back and Jair Brown. Yeah, reject the trade. It's the Bills. Yeah, I don't like the Bills. Bills are doo doo. 94. Okay. Rugged Raw. Keep going down. Ooh, Cedric Von Prahn, the center from Georgia. He's Dutch. Von Prahn. Von Prahn. He sells tulips. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's in the, in the textiles. Yeah, textiles. <laughs> what do you want to say? Okay, we are at pick 94. Just a second. I took a safety. And let's, take, uh, let's take number 85. Poonie. We, hey, we all need a little poonie in our life. Dang. Uh, <laughs> Everybody, right. I'm going to have to go back and edit that out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nope. We're, we're live. This is raw. That's being oh, left oh. in. We did say we did say it was after hour. <laughs> okay, we're going to reject the Vikings trade. <laughs> Pronounced puny. <laughs> yeah. Puny. <laughs> okay. 124. Could you go to wide receiver? And mahogany is there. Mahogany. That's wide that's receiver. That's Christian mahogany. Yeah. That is Boston so College. Boston College. He's one of those, you know. BC. Of reliable inside offensive lineman. Okay. Go ahead and take the wide receiver at 110. Brandon Rice gave us an A. Brandon a Rice. Can I reject the trade? Um, they're offered. They want us to move back one spot, and they're giving us the one sixty three and the two hundred four. No, because I'm realistically yeah. thinking Practice squad. I don't have enough mouths to feed. Yeah, you know, I have too many spots. You know that I, I just not trying to, you know, make more food than I need. Right. Well, we have to sign 10 guys from the draft, and we can sign five more guys from, like, undrafted free agency. We need so to fill I'm at pick up. 132, Yeah, I'd like to take pick 144. You're taking Christian or Luke McCaffrey. This is a power draft. Correct. <laughs> okay, go ahead and reject the trade, please. I think you have C+. Plus. Okay. Still passing. Okay. Hey, we oh, can you go up, I think people are happy. All right. Drop it down a little bit. We're going to go ahead and take DJ James. Hey, so can for a second, what's with the Luke McCaffrey thing? Like, is he falling? Is he a hype? Why Why did you get that grade? That's kind of weird. He's he's actually climbed up, climbed up five spots from last week. That's kind of weird that C+. Plus. I guess maybe because we didn't need him because we just took Brendan, I guess. Well, I think it's because I took him so early. He's he was yeah. rated at 144, and I took and him. And also, at you just took Rice, so I think. Oh, Jared Wiley falls. Dang like it! The grades. So we're at 176. Go ahead and reject the trade. Okay, so I'm going to take. I don't. Wow. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and. Can we drop down just a second? I need to see my pick number. You're at 176. Okay, let's take Mason McCormick. Solid. Okay. Creating some competition. Maybe getting ready for the Aaron Banks not re-sign. Potentially. I don't know if that... I don't know. You know, we, yeah. I don't know what they're thinking. Will we extend banks? That's a good question. That is a good mm -hmm. question. You're at 211. 211. Can we go to running back just for fun? OK, 
Okay, drop it down There's a little your bit. Guy. There's Dylan Johnson. Oh, no, he's not my friend. Dion. You got to be kidding me. Where is he taken? He's been taken. Watch, he's been taken. He has. I'm just seeing. Who, Gore? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm curious as to where. Where who the heck took there my guy? Minnesota. 177. The pick right after McCormick, Brian. They just got okay. the next uh Adrian Peterson. Can we go to tight end? Eric All's there. Eric All's there. Yeah, right there. I can't believe Eric All's there. Keep going down. Oh, he's Devin Culp's gone, buddy. At 2-11, he's gone already, I, huh? They, wasn't that him right there? I thought I saw him. Where? He's At 2-11, right he's gone. Oh, C-U-P-P. Okay, C-U-P-P. Yes, yeah, oh, C-U-P-P, wow. not cold. <laughs> C-U-P-P, I'm sorry. Put it away. C-U-P-P. Dude, Eric, Eric All, I can't believe he's still on the board. Yeah. So that would be that would be a good pick. We want in on it. We house tight end. Can my number again? What number am I You're picking? You're at 2-11. With? 211, 173. Can we go to oh, all? Oh, yeah. Can yeah. we go to all real quick? Ola da boo. Oh, wow. Hmm. That's why I leave it to the expert. I really want to take Coleman. Ooh, you're you're taking all the inside offensive linemen. Yeah, let's, let's take Coleman. He's solid. He's good to go camping with. He's safe. He's reliable. True. <laughs> he he floats. Good to go so, camping with. Waterproof. Right. You if if it's really cold, you can cut it. All right, you're at 215, 215. Thermos. Wow. Let's take Eric all. Yeah, you got him there. Ooh, I, you get an A plus for that. Yeah, you get an A plus. That, that's that's I, a big pick. Oh, it only gave you an A. That's 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 robbery. At two fifteen, that I don't know how they did that. Yeah, that, that that's highway robbery. Right, we're still on best player available. Yeah. Wow, drop it down a little bit. Got to get a long snapper. No. Um, wow. Okay. Just check to see if the quarterbacks real quick. I, I want to take McGregor, but just check to see if uh, Milton's there for quarterback. McGregor? What's McGregor? Yeah, I want to take McGregor, but before you make that pick, let's see the quarterback, the Tennessee volunteer, if he was taken He's already. Gone. He's, He's gone. He's gone. Okay, let's go ahead and take McGregor. And I think that'll be my ju- my draft. A plus. You killed it, buddy. Thank you, folks. So he took Bo Nix. And Javon Bullard. Yep. Dominic Bullard. Pooney, Brendan Rice. Luke McCaffrey. Oh, man. Would have had three Javons if uh, Ken Law would have stayed. <laughs> Boy. We can still get more. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Still yeah. Time. There's still time. The night is young. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you did, you, you did draft a lot of trench players because you got one edge, one two inside offensive linemen. At least one of those guys. Three offensive first. linemen. I just think we can get him later, and we kind of have to take best to play, best available higher. If like a quarterback's our best pick at pick thirty-one, then we gotta take it, and just because of the value of the pick. I know people are like, "Oh, well, we need this or that." No, you need what's best, what's right there in front of you right now. Some people don't want the Honda, but you know what? You get a Toyota, and you're like, I wanted a Honda. Oh, Honda! And you figure out that you you got the Toyota, oh, and you, you decide you like the Toyota. 
Honda. I would say um, I don't do foreign jobs, but Fiat, you know, Chrysler Fiat owns Jeep. So I don't know if that's foreign or American anymore. Well, Fiat yeah, is a Italian car. Fiat used to be an Italian car and it was a fun little car. Fiat stands for fix it again tomorrow or fix it again, Tony. Right. <laughs> we'll out. We'll out. Fiat is Fiat in the company. They ran out of uh, wiring. So for their wiring diagrams, it would say like, oh, the brown wire is supposed to be running for your fuel pump, right? Well, when you get into it and you start working on it, you find out the brown wire is a green wire. And then you find out the turn signal is supposed to be orange and it's a brown wire. So what actually happened in the factory, and this has been recorded, is, is they ran out of wiring and then they just did whatever they needed to do in the factory. So there's not really an official wiring di diagram that's really complete. We had an X19, a Bertoni X19. It's a really cool little car, but I heard yeah. they were using pasta in their cars because they ran oh. out of them. I tell pasta. you what, it was a cool little car, but yeah. Fettuccine, Alfredo, all that shit. All right, I don't know how much more time you guys want to spend on this, but uh, had a cheating teradome. You want to do one? <laughs> sure, I'm moving on up like George Let's... Jefferson. Don't be afraid to pick with like your Gordon heart, Weezy. <laughs> pick with your heart, and don't be influenced by the, the cool kids at school. All right, I'll try not to, Dad. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's that movie where it's like, be careful, there's weirdos out there, and the kids are like, We are the weirdos, sir. Yeah, <laughs> we're the weirdos. Be very afraid. <laughs> All right, just like that, we're ready to go. Let's rip it, grip it, and rip it. And I don't like the lady's haircut this time. You should have shaved her. Shave it down. Don't. Really all right. Me. All right. All right. Uh, is all there right. any position group you want to watch before I hit start? Yes. We're looking at offensive tackle, and we're going to try to trade up with the Jacksonville Jaguars. So slow it on down. We're targeting Jacksonville. I think they're picking around 15, 17, somewhere around there. So slow it on down, and we're going to be getting on the phone with Mr. Balky. Trent, it's for you. Let's see, 13. They are at 17. All right. So start it and stop it right at Trent. Oh, I will. Stop. No whammies. I stopped one early. But okay, just because Kenny said no whammies, no whammies. Wow, they took JC Latham, buddy. Look, oh, he's, he's gone. gone. Took him. And who pick. took him? He goes, go, go back two spots. Let me see. Oh, ah, New, New Orleans. Orleans, yeah, two spots. Okay, let me see. Best available. We still got Fontenou. That's mm. yeah, that's the only guy. Not well, the same Kingsley, people. Kingsley, I do kind of like him, but that'd be a trade back type of thing. Yeah, hey, let's look. just let me look at the big boy and see what's what's best available. There it is. Ooh, Brock, Brock. Bowers, the tight end. Brock to Brock could be the future. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, that's the pick. Let's offer a trade and let's try to get Mr. Brock Bowers. That's who, our Kyle who, Pitts right there. That's like who, that's a good who pick. can we who can we trade with right now? Let mm -hmm. <laughs> we're gonna be on the phone with Seattle. Well, I think yeah. Well, I also think Cincinnati will definitely trade, but will he make it there? Let's offer oh. up. Let's get they're there. not. They're, they're not. They're not going to trade with us. Seattle's not going to trade with us. No, I would think your best bet is Cincinnati. But we'll think... make it there. Let's Okay, hold on a second. I mean, he's the Let's... very next guy to go, so does Seattle need a tight end? Does Jacksonville need a tight end? Let's let Seattle pick. All right, stop. Eh. Very nice. All right. 
Let's see what see. Let's see what Cincinnati. Ooh, they, wants. they did. They took that I offensive tackle were, I was looking at too. I thought so. Let's see what Cincinnati wants to do. Since he won't Let's need much. Offer a trade. But they also have been trying to move up a lot, so they may not be down either. Who knows? I'll give. Now, what's it going to take? That's the question. Give them one and three for their one and their later three. See if they do that. You're not moving up yeah. that. Yeah, it's just a few spots. It's worth uh, we need to get 300 I mean, points. Give them a. You, you may give have them to do, a. You may have give to them do a. Give them, give them a four. Give them one of our fours, and one of our. What do we have? Multiple picks in a four, and slide down a little bit. I think we got a. I believe extra... we have multiple picks in the six. Don't we have three we... seventh rounders? Oh, that was last year. We have yeah. No, we don't. And, and give them something from next year too. Yeah, you could do next year's third. And they'll probably do that. I gave them the fourth. You could okay. take the four away and probably do next year's third. You think? I think if you took the fourth away, you do first pick, third pick this well, year. Well, right third. now, that's right a, now it's a borderline. That's right. a lot. Right now it's a borderline, though. You see where it's at? Did you give yeah. them next year's third? <laughs> see, if they, see if they'll take that. See if they'll take that. I'll make it you back in a little bit. Take see this year's take fourth that. away and do next year's third and this year's third and this Ooh. year's first. That now, KC's offering us the 32, the 95, and the – now, that, that that's like mm. less than what we just gave up. No. Yeah, help no, I don't guys. want that. I don't want that either. I don't want that. I don't want that. I want my pick. And take Brock, Brock Bowers. Bowers. Yeah, take Brock yeah. Bowers at 18. Nothing wrong with that. All right. Gave us a B plus. Give me a yeah, break. Yeah, I don't think that, that this AI is. Mims is dropping the traits. It's, it's, it's not the smartest thing in the world. Mims dropped in this one. It's because they all heard the boomer bust, big risk. Yeah, thing, he, you know? he just said he ain't got much going on. All right, uh, reject that. Yeah, I wouldn't take that either. You're still Reg one, reject. That's one spot. That's one spot. So let's look I at the think next you one. Should take that one. Mm, that looks nah, that ain't good either. Reject that. Well, th this one's only one spot, though. When we pick up and a 131, which we just I we get, just well, traded the we just gave up. I'll take it. I'll take that. Yeah, Except get that. back. Except one that. spot. I'm not All married right. to anybody. All right. Reject that. Nope. No thanks, Denver. And we're picking. I will take. Okay, I know we're not going to do this, but can you imagine? This is what I'm saying, right? We need to tie it in. Give me, two. give me Chris Jenkins, Ooh. defensive lineman. Yeah, he's pretty good. Michigan, very In nice. Michigan. A plus. Very nice. All right. And we're moving, and we're moving, and we're moving. <laughs> You're back to an A average there, because you know the B plus and the A plus. Yeah. What's that? That's well. a low A. Surprise ain't nobody giving me up nothing. Feels like, like it's Christian, Christian mahogany. <laughs> there it is. Christian mahogany. That guy wants to be a All right, now guy I need an inside knowledge guy. Let's scroll down a little bit, though, right? BC. Let me see. Man, my man, my man Brandon Rice out there. Let's go back up. I need some inside linemen. Give me BC, Christian Mahogany. I just love the name. Boston right. College. That guy's calling us. <laughs> He's calling us. He's like. <laughs> and we're moving. And we're at 131. All right. We need to look at uh look let's look at best player available all the way down. Go go down some more. Go down some more. Go down some more. Let's 
come on. Let me look. Let me look at all the linebackers. Let's look at linebackers a minute. Ooh, Christian Jones is there. Now my guy from North Carolina is gone. All right, go back to go back to the big board. All. Oh. And my dog's down there barking. Cornerback out of. Let's go, Renardo Green, Florida From State Florida University. State? Yep. Florida State. What are the Patriots offering? Two That's spots. Not to, and the, the pick, move that, two that spots, is, and they get that about 193. Not bad either. That's very good, too. Uh, don't Let's reject it. Let's see what else they no no. Just see what else is. Out. Here we go. Hmm. Move. Uh, one thirty eight and one eighty six plus two next year. Whoa, that's just three spots, and we pick some more stuff up. And you yeah, take picks from the spots, Card and we get a one ninety three. And you steal picks from the Cardinals. They're in our division. These All guys, right. I don't. Go 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 forward again. Go keep going forward. Keep That's the Cardinals three spots and get two sevens next year. Yep. Go forward again. Keep rotating. Keep rotating again. Somebody just says as for two spots. Go forward again. Take that Cardinal deal. Take that. Accept that. Three it's not spots. Bad. I wonder. I wonder who they. I wonder who they actually wanted, though. Uh, that, Four trade re offers. Reject. Reject that. Reject that to. Reject. Reject. Nope. Reject. All right. We're up at one thirty-eight. Who they want? That's what I'm, I'm wondering. Just who? Who they want? I, yeah, they wanted somebody. They wanted a running back. No, that's not the right pick. That's one more yeah. pick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Wingo from LSU. Oh, they wanted the guy. Uh, yeah, I was going to get him, too. They knew I wanted him. They knew I wanted him. Let's go down some more. We need defensive help. Christian Jones at 127. Let's go Christian Jones. Oh, yeah. Offensive tackle. but And he's interviewed with us twice, I believe. Yeah, they're gonna pick him up too. All right, and we're moving, and we're moving, and we're moving. Getting ready to get to one seventy six. And then you get one ten later, and we're there. Reject. Mm. And let's see what the day is holding. The day is holding. Let's go, uh, Mr. Luke McCaffrey comes home and is with his brother. I can't believe he's still on he the board. He is there. We have hit, and we're getting That's to an A plus two. Eight six. plus. Same darn pick <laughs> that they gave a C plus to. You know what? Oh, we're at 186. All right. Let's go. I'm just uh, looking to see if Frank Gore is gone. Frank Gore Jr. and he, I think he is the tank. All right, we need a a linebacker. The <laughs> linebacker out of Washington. I love, I love for for show. Yeah, you'll kill it with that. <laughs> a plus, a, yeah, for sure. Uh, hey, hey, all us content creators will love that name though, because he's it, well, when he's in the game making a tackle. You know, Ooh, know. For show. For be like, show. For show. yeah. <laughs> Uh, the Cowboys, no. Yeah, they can kick rocks. Reject. Yeah. All right. Uh, do we have some edge? I need some edge rushing. Let's go to the great state of Mississippi, and let's get Cedric Johnson Am from I? great state of Mississippi. Great That's the second state time he's been drafted tonight. Yeah. And we're at 215. We probably need to look at some film. <laughs> uh, ooh, look at the 
L Lub. Dylan Lub. That guy's been there for a long time. Is it Lauby, you think? It's think because so. it's a small school, New Hampshire. Yeah, probably it, because he's been up there for quite some time and last draft too. He probably got some shake with him. Let's go ahead and take he's a gotta, you know, he's gotta have something. There's a reason yeah, he, I yeah, mean 165. Yeah. yeah, he's gotta have something. We're New gonna Hampshire, take a look at that, that, plus. that would be a nice pick. And who's gonna be our Mr. Irrelevant. Irrelevant for us. Yeah. It's got to be somebody out of here. Somebody out of here. Somebody here. Let's scroll way down and see what we see. Just to see who's up yeah, there. Yeah, let's, let's take a shot. Because we don't get to see this all the time. Look at that. McGregor makes it to almost undrafted free agency. I can't believe that. Jean-Baptiste. That's a cool name. Logan I Lee need, I need, a, I need a corner. No, no, I don't need a corner. I need a safety. Did I get a safety? Hmm. I didn't. I didn't get a I safety. Think you did, did. No. I need nope. a safety. Who's the and best safety Josh you got? Ohio you State. Get a, get get Josh Proctor. Get Proctor, Josh Proctor. Is he the third safety. Another A plus. I think the he's only the thing you got that was a that wasn't an A plus was Brock Bowers, and I think that's BS. It's it's a A plus for us. Yeah. Because look at our, cause cause our tight end. Ultimately, <laughs> it's like we just brought in George Kittle's replacement, George Kittle's and he's going to get a couple years with Kittle now. Yeah, right. We got we got de facto George Kittle. You, you, your first round pick, if you move up, you should you better damn well know that he's going to be your your starter for the next five to ten years. And and if you can't see that, if you can't see that guy being here for the next five to ten years and being a Pro Bowler. He better not be – you better not move up and get him. You better not do it. It'll set your franchise back five years if, if you can't so see these, that guy starting. That's true. These three guys right here, Luke McCaffrey and Dufun. Oh, all right. All right. I'm Don't not fuck. trying. And Cedric Johnson, that's the second time they've been drafted by us tonight. Was it also an A-plus last time? It was different positions, but right. the the linebacker well, that I can't pronounce was because they hosed. What about, what about you, Kenny? Kenny, you want to be GM for a draft? Yeah, I'll power through that real fast. Yeah, he wanted to feel the juice. Let always, me go down here and see what this dog doing. Me, always keep me on the all, unless I tell you otherwise, and we'll get right through this one. <laughs> oh, come on, dog. Uh oh. Dog's in trouble. Doggo. By the way, if you're ever in Japan and you've already eaten a hot dog, you can say hot doggo o tobomashito. Just so you guys know. So I've already what had a hot dog. What does that mean? It means I've already had a hot dog. Thanks. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So uh you ready to go? I'm ready. Ready like Fred. All right. Freddie Jackson. Do you, do you want me to pause it at a certain point? Do you just want to go to 31? What I'd like you to do is to pause it at, like, let the first nine picks go, if you can do that. Can you do that, or is it, like, in little bursts or something? Okay. Oh, it goes quick. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sweet. Can we just see who went, just for, just for, you That's know. Pick That's pick 10. That's pick 10 right there. Wow. The Jet. That. Why would they do that? Can we? I mean, that's ridiculous. Chicago just took Drake May with the ninth overall pick. They have three quarterbacks now. This is why I don't. Who they think take with much the first the grades. You know what I mean? The grades are. Oh my goodness! <laughs> they have four quarterbacks. Can we restart this, David? Do you mind? I hate to be that kind of dude, but look well, what happened. Why did you? Why? I mean, they, they picked J.J. McCarthy, and then they picked Drake May. That's a them problem. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yeah, right? Hey, it's not like we're taking a quarterback, so that's fine. I mean, they took two quarterbacks with, oh, my goodness. And Marvin Harrison went uh, eighth to Atlanta. Bryant, oh. Bryant, Bryant, what do you think about that? If you're a Bears fan, <sighs> you know, hypothetically speaking, and they take two quarterbacks in the top ten. Well, how do you feel about that? Well, 
even if they realistically did it, it's not really that bad because if they they're not completely sold on either quarterback and both are really good and whoever comes in takes the job or if one gets hurt and they can pivot to the other one, they're both going to be, you know, four to five year contracts. So they can shift directions at any point. If and one, they can trade one always. It's kind of like what Washington did with the Kirk Cousins and the RG3 thing, you know, like, so I, I, I like it, honestly. Um, I, I said this before, it's right? Insane. Say, Look, if we need a tight end, then just draft three tight end and draft three cornerbacks and we'll get it right. Like if we, that's what we need, then you might as well just do that. So it's not a, I think it's ridiculous, but it, if you're trying to nail down the quarterback, there it is. I mean, it's crazy. All right. Kenny, you want me to hit play and stop at a certain point? Let me see who's at who's there to take right now. Who's available? Dallas Turner and who else we got? Joe Alt, the Alt. top tackle in the draft. Okay, see, like the top I don't tight end in the draft. The top okay. corner in the draft. Let's see who who's picking now. You said uh Indianapolis? The Jets. Oh, the Jets, and they would work with us. Here's what I'm going to do. Is Joe Alt a right tackle, like 100% right tackle? He, he, I think he's a left tackle. Okay. But, you know, it's right. NFL. I'm pretty sure we could get by with a, putting him at right for a year. I believe that Trent Williams is going to stay on this team for the next two years. Anybody agree? I disagree. Okay. I think he'll be on for four. Okay. Let let it go because I don't even like any of these guys, and I feel like making a move up to get all doesn't make much sense. So let let it let it go to about pick. Can we go to pick eighteen? Do another nine. Okay. And then we'll bust through this thing. I'm not going to take long for the whole time, but. <clears throat> Ooh, Mid I don't, I, ooh, it's pick 19. Look at this. And look who's there. All still. Now that's, that's just insane. weird. That's insane. Yeah. It's just weird. Look, look at all the people Latham. that are there. Yeah. Fuaga. All. It's the okay. Rams. Okay. Here's what I want to do. I want to talk to Pittsburgh. And I'm hoping that the Rams don't take Alt. And in that case, I would take Alt to be a trends backup. And I would um, put um, who's the the Jalen Jalen what's who's the backup swing right now Jalen what Jalen Moore Jalen I think Moore. he's on the bubble. We're gonna put him in the trash. So let's try and move up and trade with Pittsburgh. If we can do there that. Are, dang dude, there are three tackles I like still on the board. Yeah, so Pittsburgh. I would like huh? to trade with Pittsburgh. Yeah, I think that they'd be down. I think the Rams would play. It just. Yeah, that's okay. Let the Rams pick whoever they want. I assume they're going to take Alt. All right. So I got both first round <laughs> picks highlighted. Okay, now go to next year for our picks. I'm going to give away some picks from next year. From next year? Yeah, from 2025. Okay. I want to give them the second round pick. That'll do it, right? Not enough? It's it's saying not enough on their end. All right, well, that's okay. They can give us a pick back. I mean, let's see how good a pick we can get, right? Like, see if they'll give us 398. I asked for the 98th pick. See if they'll do that one. Does that make sense? Let's do it. Done deal. That makes sense. Let's go for it. Now, let's see who the Rams take, and we're good to Dang. go. And I told you they would take them. No they to, did. No to the They're Colts. sons of a... Yeah. No, nah, I saw That's that. Right? Those guys are jerks. <laughs> <laughs> and and there he is still, Brock Bowers. But that's crazy because we saw him fall to like 42. Um, that's what we want right there. Fuaga. Well, there's – so J.C. Latham still on the board. I yeah, am so I high on him. And I like the Police heart. Fuaga like the still heart on the board. Those players. I like the heart of the Polynesian players, man. Those guys have heart. They don't care Who? about size. Fuaga. Oregon, a, Oregon, Oregon State. 
That's a dog. Yeah, for Waka and Kimbo. There we go. Did, nice. they, did they like A plus? Word. You? We picked up a nice little pick, right? And we don't have to worry about it because we gave up a pick from next year. So I made sure we I gave up a up second third. round pick. We're really good at those. A second round pick. I mean, and we picked up. Yeah, you, you did pretty good. Yeah, not so bad. Reject. Oh, come on. It's the Falcon. Oh, that, that trade sucks. Reject. No, that one sucks too. Reject. Yeah. Oh, no. That one's, nah, that one's okay, but. No, nope. no. Silly. No, hell no. The Rams? Hell you, no. You trying to hose us? To the no, no, no. To the hell no, no. All right. That. All right. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Jatavian Sanders. And he'll probably Good. be there later, but that's the pick, right? Yeah. That's the pick, man. That guy's a yeah, beast. I like it. it. Look at these. I like guys. it. We just got two that's linemen. Okay. Yeah, I knew they weren't gonna love it. I knew that. I knew that. Uh, uh, no. Nah. Seattle. No thanks. No, definitely not. Mm. Okay. It's Man, the third listen, round. There's the a third running back. That's all the best running. available. Here's the thing, guys. We have to take Blake. We have to, right? I'm going to pull a Bryant right here because, unfortunately, I, I also fear that CMC could get hurt, and then we're stuck with Eli and Jordan, which may have been great had they been playing the last three years, but they've been sitting and doing nothing for the last two years, either hurt or just sitting. And I just don't think those guys could take over, even though Bryant disagrees. And Blake Corum is supposed to be really nasty. Am I wrong? I, I keep hearing the, the name Blake. Uh, Larry Kruger swears by the guy. He says he's uh, the next say Emmett Blake Smith. The third round. This is we got to break the curse. I say take Blake with our ninety fourth pick. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Do it, dog. All right. We're taking a running back in the third round, folks. Yeah. Classic How do you feel? Niners. Yeah, we're doing it. Classic <laughs> Niners. A pick. A pick. No way, Tampa. There's no way I'm taking that one. Reject. Re no way. No way. Just some teams you don't trade with. No. No. Heck no. No. Okay. See you looking at that one with a turned head, like what is that? Well, I know oh. that we get safety and Kitchens is there. Kirchens, Kinchens, Kinchens. That's Kinchins. It. Yeah, Kinchins. do it. I mean, unless you guys really like Kalen Bullock, what do you think? What's the difference? Big difference. I don't, I don't know much about Kalen Bullock. Yeah, we'll have uh, to check. Yeah, I, I'm a we Cameron. should do deep dives into each position for the draft. Ooh, all Christian Mahogany still hanging out. That guy wants to be a Niner. I mean, I'm telling you. <laughs> he, he does. I'm, prob I'm probably <laughs> taking him 10 he times. He's in the front, like clean. I know. With the bow on him, and he's, he's like, a, at the, he's at he's the a BC. He's like a dog he at the pound in the front. Like, <laughs> can't go wrong with a BC guy, man. And I yeah, just but, love but, the name. But, and I don't care about grades. No, I'm not taking Brendan Rice. Are you crazy? I've been so against that. I agree. I think that's a good pick, the mahogany pick. Even though I know he's been falling, I think he's going to end up here anyway. And we need the Eight interior plus. offensive line. We need that. I got the tackle. Got the safety. Oh, my goodness. No, thanks. No, thank you. No. Nah. Nah. You're offering us junk. Okay. All right. Let's go Brendan Rice. It's got to be done. I just feel like if he's there, they're gonna, they're gonna want him there. They're gonna want him at that spot. I did next year's no. Nah. Uh, oh, hold on. Uh, Move back one spot, and you yeah. gain a two oh seven. I'm gonna skip over that. that one. Look at the other one. Yeah, we'll look at the other ones, but that's a good one. No for that. One more. Uh, yeah, I would say let's go with the uh, Broncos pick. They obviously have something up their sleeve. Why should we stand in their way? Yeah. Cool. 
No. Nah. These guys are offering yeah. to trade back one. Yeah, I know, but seventh round, we don't, we don't need that. You know, actually, we have to fill 15 roster spots. So, you know, maybe that wasn't a bad trade, but we're good to go. Uh, Camara, right? Still got, you, Camara. You still got like Camara's yeah. the pick. Camara's the pick. Let's do it. If that guy's sitting there, we got to take him. Although, you know, the Niners, they'll be like, nah, yeah, we're good. <laughs> They, they, I believe they've actually talked to the guy. I don't know though. Yeah. He's he's a bit of a hothead, but he can play. Well, that's what we want. Mm -hmm. well, that's kind of what we need. That's one thing we don't really. How many hotheads do we have on the team right now? I want that guy. You don't want to like be near in the locker room because he's like, yeah, away. yeah, the go off dude. Yeah, <laughs> that, that that old Alden Smith. Yeah, he showers alone. Like he just, yeah. So. Yeah, leave He's him got alone, a pet man. alligator, like things like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like any given Sunday, dude. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, you know I like Pritchett, but let's keep looking. Let's just keep. Oh wow. Oh, nice. All right, so see, like Vaki's there, right? And I know we took a safety, and I'm sure he's very good. They met but with look him what twice. Happened. We can use all turn. these guys. Yeah, they look. I good. like it. I say go with Vaki there. Sony Vaki from Utah? Yeah, I think so. Because, like, what I was saying before is, like, look, if we need only a couple positions, then let's hit them a multiple times. And if we get three or four of the same position, we, we may get it right on one of the three. And then that's the that's all we want, right? So Yep. And he can return. Yeah. Well, there goes Mustafa off the board. He's the guy that the Niners have met with, too. Mm. Uh, no, thanks. No, thank you. All right. What do you guys think here? Man, like? I think you're just killing it. I'm killing it right now. I'm 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 hitting yeah. the wall though. We might have to go down. We, yeah, we might have to bring it down. No, look, listen. What I've heard, and not not that I don't like Milton. I, what I've heard is that he's not the guy. I know we need a quarterback. Uh, who else is available at quarterback just to see, if you don't mind? That's the only thing I need to see. QB. Yeah, like who's right? Oh, up? Joe Milton's there. Oh, no, you okay. got to take Joe Milton. He's the volunteer. I know. I'm just hearing things about him that, like, it's kind of gone, don't listen guys. To them. Don't listen to what they got to say. Hmm. God, Larry would be a reach here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to be leery of Devin. Mm, very nice. Do you? It was a play on words. All right, let's I get mean, out of the quarterbacks and hit that all button again. But let's clear like the first 10 guys. I want to see who's roaming around. Austin's good, though. Good place to yeah. go. Yeah, I, did, I, I do like the read, actually. Still Kentucky. Look at Togo Valawa. Togo Valawa is, is that uh is that two? Yeah. yeah, and I think they put him in Miami. Yeah, I mean he's not going to go in the draft probably. Yeah, that's undrafted. Dude. He might yeah, be undrafted or their very last pick, something like that. Ben uh, Bryant. Wow. Northwestern. So that guy's got to be smart, man. He's got to be smart. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we can get out of quarterbacks. I'm starting to like not know who any of those guys are, and, and some of the schools even. Yeah, <laughs> like at what school is that? When you Bishop just know, when you, when you don't even know the school, you're like, oh. <laughs> Bishop Eustis of Southern Carolina. <laughs> yeah, directionals. <laughs> I kind of like this tight end pick again. Like we're trying to hit. I know we took two, but I mean these guys are like really, really late rounders. What do you think? Not late enough, man. You guys think I mean, late enough to the point I mean, where you know what, though? the tight ends we got are pretty solid. I don't think we need to, yeah, I don't think we need to hit that again. All right, so what do you think? The chat is saying that Hunter guy, what do you guys think? What well, he's a little further down, Hunter Nor Norzad. What's he got going on from Penn State? What's his um schematics mm -hmm. or what are his uh he's the inside offensive linemen? We could do that. 
We went mahogany. And you have it? Well, you took mahogany, but we yeah. need competition. And also, you know, guys cost money, and they're going to want more later. So if we can pick up some young guys who are already on a contract, I, I, I'm going with the hunter. I'm going to go with the chat. You still be Nor, nor Zad. Okay, there we go. All right, now we're in the uh, much C late. 11. Much you're still late. Gonna, you're still going to be decent. All these guys I'm, in the 100, you, you can't miss. Yeah. Well, what about uh, – all right, let's do the Milton for, for Bryant. Let's do Milton. He's right there. Obviously, nobody wants him. But he's there. we need a quarterback. Let's do it. He could be the next Carson uh, Palmer. All right, so you got two picks no, left here. Two fifteen. Yeah, I'm not gonna give Carson Palmer her time. He was awesome. I'm gonna, the only I'm thing you haven't it. picked is linebacker, corner, and defensive line. Yeah, Joe's hmm. a good player. Okay, let's look if at the linebacker. Milton, even though I'll give you his jersey. Can we look at the linebackers real quick? Because I know I don't pick linebackers. Like, that's not my thing. I feel like that's something I never think about because the Niners are so good at it. Wow. That and we have, like, Jalen Graham and D. Winters from last year we didn't get to see much of. Yeah. And we signed we signed in two guys. One guy is a special team specialist, though. So this is a – there's a lot of room here between guys, right? So I'm going to say Nathaniel and J.D. are going to be my top two picks. The other guys are really far away. Just from each other, so like that two thirty seven is way out there. Yeah. Yep. You know anything about JP or Nathaniel? Uh, Mississippi State. How pretty was their good D program? Any, was their D decent? Uh, the I would SEC probably go guys, with D only because it's Notre Dame, but you know that's yeah. the only. You always ask. You have to ask how was the D. <laughs> was it a good D? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I went to school and I got a big D. That's just what happened. Yeah. yeah. Well, what, was Help the D me. good? That's the like D is, the D is good. Let's go with J the D Bertrand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's Let's do it. The man's well, like got said, D, he's got D in the middle of his name. Yeah, strictly it got his name. Is D, and that's what we like, right, Richard? Yeah, we need you a middle put that D in him. there. And now you know clearly, since there's no room for Devin Cope, we'll have to pick somebody else. What? I mean, we took two incredible tight ends. Like, these guys would take over. I mean, we could trade Kittle at the deadline with these two guys. I don't think Devin Culp's available. No, I don't think he'll be there. I'm just uh, he's not. I and think then, it's because we keep pushing the algorithm. <laughs> yeah. Cup keeps coming up. Oh, man. You know, I don't know. That name sounds nasty. Eric Watts. Hey, Watts. Watts he, is that? He Watts. From UConn. I like that. I don't care. We're taking wow. an edge. No, oh, Gracie Murphy's there too. Ed. I like this guy. UConn. I'm from the East Coast. I like UConn. UConn. Yeah. Man. A Just chance. Go. Eric Watts. This guy could be incredible. He could be the next Drake Jackson game one. Give me a B game. plus for it. All Look right. at that. A, 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 A. <laughs> hey. That's a draft there. That's yeah. All now, how did you up here? The power How did you move? Delays until he gets to the one seventy six. Got B plus. I traded this year's first Terradome and next year's second to move up. Okay. It, it wasn't cheap. It wasn't cheap. That next year's second is a good pick. And where? Who did you trade with? The Rams the or Steelers. Steelers? Yeah. Steelers. Okay. And then yeah. the, then the Rams went and picked Joe Alt, which I said because that's the pick. I was just like, you know what? Let him have it. Let them let them let them have it. No we'll cornerback. Get... No cornerback. We didn't take one cornerback. That makes sense, right? We have what seven. And think about all well, the guys got, that undrafted. I mean, all the guys we, that are going to be Luter some... Jr. and Womack under contract for a few years. We're looking they to extend have. Lenore. Luter and Womack. Yeah. So I don't know. Next, if, you know. I don't know yeah. if the corner is such a big need at this point, but it's yeah, not, I you never know, agree. right? But this yeah, guy, yeah. Cooper Dean, right? Or Dijon, whatever his name is, he's going really early, like 10, 11, really soon. This guy, supposedly he's incredible, and he can play safety, cornerback, and nickel. Like all, he can move anywhere, and that's like the thing. 
Yeah, he's good. That's his thing. And that's why he's getting taken, you know, nice and early. Him and Arnold, I think, are like the earliest guys. I think you mentioned. I think, I think Jatavian Sanders is the second best tight end in the draft. We got yeah, two really and he's, ones. he's really young. That kid's not uh, but 20 years old, I think. And Kittle, you um, know, he still has a lot of tutelage. And he's got tight end you. He's, that yep. guy's teaching all year round. Yep. Definitely uh interesting draft. Definitely. We'll have to check out this guy, Hunter Nur Nurzad, because I only know him from what the 49ers in the chat said. So we'll have to check him out. Yeah. For sure. Yes, you know? sir. Good draft. Great. Great. But yeah, next week, next week, what we got coming up is I'm going to be doing research on who the Niners have actually talked to, visited, pro days they've gone to. This is going to take me a while to compile <laughs> all this. And then you know, we'll kind of have an idea of who they're looking at and who we should actually take. This year, th this th tonight, my draft was about what have we done? You know, what do we typically do in the draft? Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, that was the first draft. That's, that's what I did. Yeah. What have you done but, for lately, Parag? That should be the name. It, it, well, you know, negotiating the contract would be nice. Yeah, like, you, know, you know, he's before training camp starts. Exploring every cheap option first, like. And then uh and then Thursday night it it it's on. Uh following uh next week it's gonna be the twenty fifth. So wow, less than a week. Is that right? We go live. Yeah. Wow, that's right. Oh, 49ers twenty twenty four. That's good. Welcome to the channel. Hope you subscribe. We'll be doing this again same time next week. But like I said, I'm going to be doing research to see who we've actually talked to, who who have the 49ers talked to. And, and I'm, gonna, you know, I'm not saying anything we're doing is realistic because you never know, right? Yeah. And I'm going to I'm going to check out this kid Mahogany who wants to be drafted, Christian yeah. Mahogany. Yeah, we got to look it's up. A film on him and uh and Yeah, we should do that. We got to every time we see a guy, a new guy there, we should Check them out. Yeah. Deep dive. Well, so last year we were doing mock drafts, and I did a whole bunch off. You know, this is before I started my channel. I did a whole bunch off, and I actually picked D. Winters a lot. And out of everyone I've drafted, this the only one I can remember that I actually hit on. Bryant, Bryant right. hit on the kicker, <clears throat> Jake Moody. Oh, yeah. And, he, and he Ronnie hit Bell. I hit on Ronnie Bell a little bit. Yep, you did. You did mention him in a few drafts, and you know it's th this next year. Ronnie Bell's got his red shirt off, so we'll guess we'll get to see what he. he you know, we Kyle saw Wilson a little do. taste. We saw a little taste, right? Yeah, yeah. We didn't yeah. see didn't see a lot, but his red shirt's off. <laughs> and then Danny Gray's got to be on the bubble. I don't think we know. ever see that guy, guys. We Going never in the third year three. He's got speed. Never see him. He can play. take the top off the defense. I hope so. You know, I would like to see that just because it would open up like Debo, Ayuk, you know, Kittle. It would open up all those inside routes, having the guy take that safety that's over the top with him. Right. That was a rumor out there. He was involved in the rugs deal. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> they were you mean they the, were teammates. The Rashid Rice. Rice, yes. I'm sorry, Rice. Yeah. It, it was similar to what Ruggs did. But they were uh, they were teammates at SMU and it did happen in Dallas. I don't I, I don't I didn't see anything confirmed in the news or anything like that, but uh I honestly you know. think it's just I think it's just a rumor someone started. Okay. You know, and because there has been no evidence that Danny Gray was present at all. Good, good, good. So uh, you know, let's clear that up on it's there. Weird, it's all right? alleged. It's alleged. weird, but the guys disappear. Yes. I mean, it, it's weird. It's there's sometimes things go on. Like, you ever watch like ballers or playmakers, these football shows or whatever, and like shit goes down behind the scenes. They don't want you to know that shit can't get all the time. An NBA, yes. And they don't want bad publicity. Something could have happened with Danny Gray. It may not have been able to be proven, but it got shut down or whatever, and they sat his ass down, and he'll never see the field. I feel like something happened. It happens sometimes. Well, and then, well, 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 the incident we're talking about, though, Rashid Rice actually, I don't know if he's turned himself in from it yet. 
Yeah, he, he had his lawyer speak on his behalf already and said that he's okay. sorry and he okay. admits what happened or whatever. But, like, I don't know. I mean, you don't leave a scene unless you're drunk. No, you don't. <clears throat> right? So that's bad. It is. It, it's really bad for the him. The NFL, you, you know, know, doesn't like that stuff either. They're not really a big fan of having that kind of publicity. And they I, was actually, I was actually a fan of drafting him. But now it's like if we would have drafted him, we'd just been cutting him. That's what the Niners do. They don't put we we don't put up with that stuff. It's crazy out there, man. These kids they go from having <laughs> nothing to having the possibility of of so much money and stuff, and it's a lot for them to process. They're very young, and yeah. they just you know they're just going out to have a drink. They don't know okay. how quickly it can escalate because they're they're children. But as adults, we know how quick one drink can be a disaster. You have to be very responsible, and especially when you have a future, man. You can't blow that because the people. That you support and your kids and your family, they're counting on you, man. Oh, Climb out. People are I'm dying. Out there, starving and poor. And an opportunity like that, you cannot blow it because you're drunk driving. That's silly, man. One bad decision, man. Silly. Right. That's all it takes. It's, it's easy. It's easy. Yeah. So fast. But, all right. Well. You know, we, we got the show tomorrow morning, me and Brian. Coffee talk. Coffee so, talk. Not, Coffee yep. talk. Yeah, what, what, what time? Br Brian actually messaged me what time it was. 6 a.m. Pacific. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on a weekend? Six on a weekend? I don't think so. Church. Yes. 6 a.m. for the our only <laughs> fan. You better be subscribed. Join. <laughs> it's easy. The link will be in the description later. Um, if you would also like to be um, on our only our only page, our only, yeah, only page, page, you'll have to message us privately, and we can work what, out. What, what are you talking? Hey, 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 hey! hey they're hey. doing private shows. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what Brian's talking about. Private hey, shows. Hey, no sponsor, but Private. check out Bianchi Buckets if you need any automobile repairs. And if you also are looking for a good pizza, no sponsor, no sponsor at all. But check out Tony's Pizza down the street here located in Stockton, North Central. And also, if you're looking for a good guy to mow your yard, I know a good guy around the corner, but no, no sponsor, no sponsor. But give me a call if you know if you need somebody. <laughs> How is your backyard doing? Can you can you get back there? Oh my god, I am so happy to let everybody know. You know, the hair got cut, so did the front yard. Um, I have five, five, one, two, three, four, five, right? Yes, we're gonna use the thumb as a <laughs> finger as well, right? Five lawnmowers. We're gonna try to make one. And if we can't get one, then we're going to put all of them in the front yard and say free. And you must take all of them. You can't pick and choose. They all must go. So I figure if I put all in the front yard and kind of do like the Cadillac thing where you dig them and put no. them in the ground. Is that really an like you gotta take them all. Yard, yard art, lawn art, right? Yeah. <laughs> we're, 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 we're working on that. But no, the front yard <laughs> can quit. The backyard. Um, man, I tell you what, those leech lines for the septic tank are really working. So um, if I walk into the backyard, you can see my waste disappear. Hmm. You I'm can really wow. Voltron lawnmower. So, I'm thinking about either getting a couple of goats, like some people have told me, get a couple of goats. Uh, you know, I, I'm just thinking about the longevity of the goats and, and maybe what they might leave in the long run. The grass will be gone, but what will they leave in return? Yeah. You get the so, goat thief. You do have to clean garbage. up after him like a dog, dude. You do. Well, you have to go out there with a shovel. Goat <laughs> <laughs> so tomorrow it shouldn't be raining after the 49er coffee talk in the morning on the Culp and McNiner, McNiner and Culp show uh, dual stream. Please check us out 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, uh, you know, all over the country. Bring a cup of coffee, you know, some tea, whatever you like to drink. Uh, if you want to drink a beer, that's okay. There might be some cool dad jokes, but uh, yeah, David will be there. Get the dad we'll, jokes we'll ready. We'll be talking about how to properly sack a quarterback tomorrow morning, <laughs> folks. This should be this should be good. Violent. All right. So, so don't don't forget to tune in Terror Dome every Tuesday and Thursday morning. You know, and uh, Niners Coast to Coast on Monday. It's my turn. So yeah. that, that that'll be on my channel. 
Nice. Niners, right. coast to coast. Check out yeah, Kenny. Buddy. Kenny had a cool show today, too. So check out Kenny 49 and Cult. Yeah, yeah, we did our first show. Yep, cool they did. They, they, they did a stream two and a half hours before I did, right? Yeah, we went on at five. Usually that's when Tony and the girls are on. But. Now, keep in mind, it's PST when Brian and Kenny say that. You know, I'm, I'm Mountain Standard Time. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you're in Central or East there, Terror Dome. Central Mountain. I'm on the East Coast. East Coast, on the 10. East Coast. 10 yeah. on the East. 7 on yep. West. 8 Mountain. Yep, it would be 8 o'clock your time. Yeah. But yeah, Coffee Talks 9 a.m. PST. So don't forget to tune in for that. Everybody have a fantastic night. And go Niners. And as Corey Davis would always say, F all. <laughs>